So the other day, I learned a couple of interesting facts. Of the 820 pilots in the trained permanent Royal Australian Air Force, only 40 were women. In 2017, only 16% of Australian engineering graduates were female. Globally, females make up just 5.6% of all airline pilots, and only 1.55% of airline captains are women. Now, I'm no mathematician, but those numbers to me seem particularly low. So why? Why are there far fewer women than there are men in the world of aviation? I think what we need to do is immediately ask that question to the industry leaders. Oh, sorry, before we do that, hello by the way, you probably have no idea who I am. My name's Stefan Drury, I'm a private pilot here in Australia, I fly a Cirrus SR22 and I run a YouTube channel where I share aviation and travel stories. First of all, I want to ask those industry leaders, what do they think we can be doing to encourage more women to study STEM? And secondly, what can be done to then encourage women to pursue a career in aviation? And I think I know exactly who we should be asking. <laughs> Talis, sorry, sorry, bad English accent. <laughs> I'm here with Mark from Talis, and we're going to ask the question. So, Mark, what do you reckon? What can be done to try and encourage more young women to consider STEM subjects in university as an option? I think first of all, one of the things we can do to encourage more women in STEM um, education is to actually debunk some of the stereotypes that sit around STEM. Uh, move away from the crusty old man in engineering um, approach, open it up to more um, commercial, applicable outcomes that they can see for themselves in their everyday lifestyles. Can I ask one favour? Can yeah. we do that one more time, just so I've got a different yeah. angle for that? Because I'm going to just chop into oh, that. Do you but want they... my good angle this time? No, 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 but I want you a good <laughs> angle. It's the plane. At RMIT have got a great program called the RMIT Outreach Program, which flies us staff, alumni and students around the country to remote and regional areas to try and encourage and inspire young high school females into the industry. RMIT is involved in the Air 4 program where we're asking young female students what we can do to help them pursue a career in uh, aerospace and aviation um, and what we can do to help them select subjects that will further their careers. We're um, really enthusiastic about women joining our program, making a work environment which is inclusive, which is a... sorry. It's the F-22. Is that what's flying around at the moment? Yeah. Which is Lockheed Martin aircraft. Yeah. So it's your plane that's disturbing us at the moment. Yeah. We I blame them. I think it, it's about being an attractive work environment. Mm. We uh, partnered with the National Youth Science Forum to encourage actually all young people, not just girls, but particularly girls. Yeah. I just had a great conversation with one of our F-35 partners at Morand about um, girls' work experience in their engineering company um, down in Moorabbin. I, I think everyone is super positive and super excited about being much, much more of an attractive industry to work with for women. There was a young lady that uh, came through today and before the air show she had no interest in, in actually joining the Air Force and by coming through and uh, having the showcase of aircraft platform she, she wants to join. So you've got some good news recently with Swinburne University as well. Swinburne has been recognised as the uh, employer of choice uh, for gender equity for the 10th consecutive years. So uh, it's a good uh, achievement. So we've been very proud and uh, very uh, pleased about that achievement. Great. Yeah, yeah congratulations. Yeah, That's thank awesome. You. One of the things uh, that CAE as a company, we're a company focused on flight simulation and training. We need to look at the whole population uh, and we need to encourage more women to join uh, science, technology, engineering, math subjects because that's kind of the foundation for the real high technology, high capable uh, uh, systems that we need to produce pilots for the next generation. What do you think are some of the tactics that we can try and employ out there to make aviation a bit more of an appealing industry for more women to get into? I, I don't know how you could make it more appealing. <laughs> I love it. Um, I've been in aviation and defence for 
sometimes I'm the only woman in the room which we deal with but in most recently I have had meetings where there's only been one man in the room so you know we're getting there yeah. and um, it's a good news story and it's a great industry. One of the challenges that, uh, that the aviation industry in general has globally is a severe shortage of pilots. It's only about 5% of the population of the global pilot population are women now. So we need to encourage more women to become interested in becoming pilots to address that global demand. So one of the things our company has done very recently is uh, we're, we have flight schools around the world and we're offering, we have a, a, a program, a women in flight scholarship program, we're offering five full scholarships for very aspi you know, aspiring uh, future uh, pilots who happen to be women to come apply and be part of CA's Women in Flight Scholarship Program. Awesome. And you know, trying to do things like that to encourage and, and create awareness that this is a great career, not just for men, but, but the whole of the population. Yeah, awesome. Thank you very much. Perfect. Thank you. Just really appreciate Thank that. You so much.